Hey guys and welcome back to the channel, I'm Zemo the Dad in DPS and we are back today with a video I wasn't even expecting to make. Now before we get into that let's thank our members Twice Baked Spuds, Goldie, Wyatt Blackburn, Waller is me and David Smith. Big thanks to all of you and we can't do it without you. And if you'd like to be a member just click the button that says join below and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Now today's topic is treasure maps and if you think they're worth doing in Fallout 76 today. Now I know what you're thinking, treasure maps have only one use, toilet paper. And that was pretty much my opinion of them for the longest of times, but they do have some uses in the game today. Now if you don't know what I'm talking about, treasure maps are little notes that you find on certain NPCs, usually the ones with the crown beside their names, or in chests at the end of the dungeons. These notes depict a location, showing you an image of roughly where the treasure is buried. Now I'm not going to show you the locations of all the maps, that would take far too long and be boring for me mainly. Um, so. Yeah, you're going to see a couple of them flickering on the screen and showing you roughly where those ones are, but I'm not doing everywhere. It's just going to take too long and be really, really, really annoying for me. Um, maybe a later video that will do that for like Savage Divide or Forest and all the, the separate little locations, but yeah, we'll see. We will definitely see. So, you've got your map and you're about to dig up your treasure. And basically what you're going to get is some items, some junk, meds, food, drink, ammo, and here's the interesting part, plans. Now please note these items that you get are leveled, so taking a level 1 is going to get you very little out of this, and obviously with anything in the game you have a good chance of getting absolute garbage. But every now and then you'll find a rare plan and you can either sell that or learn it. And don't get me wrong, it's not going to be an instant thing, but if you decide to use your maps, you may or may not get something of use out of it. And the good thing is, these maps are not unique, so if you have 20 maps, you can open the treasure 20 times. And you do need a map to open the treasure, you can't just go to these places if you know where they are and open them, you need a map to do it. So if you get 20 maps, you get 20 lots of items, 20 chances it's something good. Now I'm sure you're thinking, well is that it? Why is that worth a video? Well, I've made videos for less. But here's another juicy tidbit. Everyone in your party that is nearby when you open one of these treasure graves, is probably the only way to describe them, also gets the loot. Not the same loot, but loot nonetheless. And some people will have so many of these damn plans they could probably wallpaper their entire camp with them. So go out, and gather the maps and reap the rewards and get that booty. Now for those of you out there that are lazy and don't want to find the plans on your own, or rather the locations of the treasure, uh, I will leave some links down below so that you guys can easily find them. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much that. So that was today's video guys, I hope it gave you some new information, encouraged you to go find some treasure, and don't forget to leave me a like, comment or subscribe, and share this video with anyone you think will enjoy it, or at least learn something from it. And with that, we'll catch you all next time in the Wasteland.